made a post yesterday about uh, the older lockdown protests and that. I knew I was going to piss some people off. The thing that really gets to me, right, is that uh, you have all these flesh, dairy, egg-eating people who care not about the animal holocaust. They have no care about it whatsoever, right? They're animals subjugated, suffering by the billion right now. Right now, right now, wherever you live, about, you know, you could probably drive about 20 miles that way, 20 miles that way, and there's a factory farm filled with suffering animals right now, begging for mercy, begging for it to end. And you get all these flesh, you know, milk, cheese eating, uh, you know, freedom protesters, right? Freedom protesters out there like, don't, no, I do not consent. You can't give me this vaccine. You can't do this to me. These are my human rights. Like, okay. But they will happily, almost in a blasé, nonchalant way, rob the rights of other animals. And that's not an important issue to them. That's not an important issue to them. So uh, this is why I made this post for those incredible hip hypocrites. Um, where like, and I'm not saying that it's okay for the government to dictate everything that we do, all right? All I'm saying is that, ew, when the shoe's on the other foot, don't feel too good, does it? Because if you go to the post, I said, uh, minor, minor freedoms taken away, massive protest, literally enslave and murder billions of animals, no one cares, okay? That's what I said. And people are like, well, these aren't minor freedoms. And I'm like, well, have you seen the nature of what happens to animals lately? If you want to go and you know, really understand what it's like to have your rights taken away from you, try being a pig on this earth. Try being a chicken on this earth. Try being a fish on this earth. Try being a dairy cow on this earth. Have you been raped repeatedly, impregnated? Have every single child you've ever had taken from you, been mutilated, been tortured, been, uh, you know, used as a milk slave, and then been turned into a leather jacket or a burger? Have your head cut off? If you want to know what it's like to have your rights taken from you, try being a non-human animal on this earth. Well, what, you're telling us not that human rights don't matter? No, that's not what I said. I said, it looks different when the shoes are on the other foot, eh? And you want us claim oppression and claim all these things. But when it's the animals begging for mercy, nobody cares. If you are not vegan, right? You don't have any right to discuss having freedoms taken because you're subsidizing, contributing to the biggest holocaust that has ever existed, the worst form of slavery that has ever existed, the longest form of slavery that has ever existed, non -hu human to non-human animal slavery. And the information's out there because if the, all these people that are on the internet, they're on the internet, on their phones, they're learning about this, that, this conspiracy theory, that conspiracy theory, oh, you know, what's going on with the government now, la, 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 la. You've got your phone, it would take you 30 seconds to look into a factory farm right now. And I'm sure you've seen it. I'm so sure a lot of people who are out there marching, you know, they've got time to look into a factory farm and have a look in there, but they'd happily still contribute to it. Happily still contribute to it, wouldn't you? When I talk about animal rights, it's very easy to see what's going on here. They are being subjugated and oppressed more than any other being that has ever existed. Throughout every single human atrocity, animals have been enslaved and murdered and no one said anything. There's been a couple of philosophers and, you know, activists and, you know, we have, you know, small groups of activists who have said something, but for the majority, like for what I've seen with the anti-lockdown protests, nothing like that, that it's been, wow, people are really getting up, they're standing up, they're standing up because the point is, if you take the slightest freedom away from human beings, right, they revolt, but they're happy to take everything from the animals everything from the animals, including their life, their babies, their skin off of their bodies, the flesh off of their bones, the milk from their udders. And when there's nothing left of them, they take, they rob their entire existence and they want to scream about freedoms being taken. Like, I cannot stand it. I cannot stand the callous hypocrisy and, and it exposes it really well, doesn't it? It just exposes it really well because, you know, before that, they were just your stock standard hypocrite, right? But then when they start going, oh my God, we need travel passports. You're locking us down. But 
my human rights. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay. So you don't think those are minor freedoms compared to what is happening to the non-human animals in the animal holocaust that you support? They are minor freedoms. They are minor freedoms. Unless you're having the skin torn off of your body, they are minor freedoms being taken from you. The animals have nothing. They're considered property. They have no rights at all. If I was to murder you, right? If I was to go to one of these anti-lockdown protests and murder you, I'd go to prison for life. If I went and had a pig in my backyard and I murdered them, nothing would happen. People would come over for a barbecue. Don't you dare tell me that they're not minor freedoms being taken from you comparative to what's happening to the animal holocaust, which is what my entire post was about. It was a comparison. I always wish in my mind that they could trade places with the animals for one moment. Because I've been in these farms, slaughterhouses. I've seen so much footage now. But I've actually been there and having to, having to see the animals suffering and not being able to rescue them. You can't rescue a thousand animals out of a factory farm. It's just impossible. You just can't. You know, having to leave suffering animals there, knowing that they're just going to suffer for another few weeks before they go to the slaughterhouse. And, you know, farrowing sheds where a mother sows suffer for years with dead piglets around them. They're biting on the cages, going crazy. And I've actually been in solitary confinement in prison. A lot of my friends have been spent months and months in solitary confinement and stuff like this, but they did something wrong. I get it. You haven't done nothing wrong, but neither did the pigs. Pigs didn't do nothing wrong and they're getting their entire existence robbed from them in the worst type of slavery and torture that you could ever imagine. If you, you know, want to complain about freedoms and that, you better not be taking robbing anyone else's from them, especially something as intimate as eating their enslaved, murdered body. You know what I'm saying? So you want to have a bacon sarnie and then complain about your freedoms being taken, right? Do you not see the dead slave that's in between those two bits of bread? Do you not see that? You're eating a murdered slave. Slave, someone who's not free, someone who's treated as property, forced, you know, into labor, like these egg-laying hens are, like these mother sows are, forced to, to, to have baby piglets so they can feed your bacon addiction. That's slavery. Dairy industry, that's non-human animal slavery forced to produce milk, forced to produce calves, okay? So that they can produce more milk and forced into a slaughterhouse so they can give you a leather jacket. So I just don't think the, these people have the right to discuss that unless they are vegan, okay? Your rights to discuss that kind of, you, you sort of gave them away, didn't you? When you started robbing the rights of other, other uh, animals. That's, that's what I reckon. If you can see, right, that being locked in your house for two weeks, right, when you have access to food, what, you're not being tortured, subjugated, but you, you have to stay inside. If you cannot see that that is minor compared to what is happening to the billions of chickens in broiler sheds, then unless you would like to trade places with them, unless you would like to trade places with them, unless you, unless you feel like having a vaccine passport is much worse than what's going on to pigs in gas chambers, unless you think that's much worse, then you're just exposing how much of a privileged hypocrite you really are and i'm not talking about third world where people are actually suffering and starving i'm talking about i'm directing this to the uk i'm directing this to australia the us people middle class people that have a roof over their head if you honestly think that that's anywhere close to what the animals experience they're treated as nothing they're flushed down the toilet turned into feces from these humans who are cl claiming who are crying complaining about their freedoms being robbed when they just flushed a digested slave's body down the toilet. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you see why I'm like, wow, I just, I'm just like, wow, I can't believe the audacity. You don't know that that's a chopped up murdered animal on your plate by now? You don't know that pork is actually a pig by now? You know that chicken's actually a chicken, right? Do you think chicken's a food or do you think chicken's an animal? Like beef is from a cow? Well, how did the cow get on your plate? Were they murdered? Where does dairy come from? Where does that milk come from? That, that had to have come from an animal, right? Where's that animal? Where's their baby? Well, they had to be pregnant, didn't they? Like, how much longer is it gonna take for people to wake up? Like, we're talking about adults here, mostly. You know, you've got social media, you've got phone, you know, mostly adults I'm talking to. Younger kids get it. Adults are the ones I don't have hope for. The younger kids are just being taught by their Ignorant parents. If you showed the young kids what's happening to the animals in the animal holocaust, it would be a no-brainer for them. All right? It would be a no-brainer for them. But the adults, man, society is just... It's taken away their ability to think critically and to, to see things. 
It's almost like the, the lust for the flesh. <clears throat> like they'll see injustice and conspiracies and all these things outside of their home. But, but when they look at their plate, they just see meat. That's just meat. What you, you can think critically in all these other areas, right? And you can stand up and protest when, you know, it's your minor freedoms being taken away compared to what the animals experience. But you can't see that you're eating a dead slave. Non-human animal slave right there on your plate. You can't see that. But you can see everything else going on in the world, man. 5G, this and that. Uh, all these conspiracies, Bill Gates, yada, yada. I, I, I'm a truther. You're a truther and you're still chowing down on the body of a murdered animal? You're a truther? You're living a lie. That ain't a truther. <laughs>